So I figured I'd put this on camera, my first hover maiden with this bird's eye view Firefly 6. Just got the propellers on. I've spent a large amount of my spare time and on the weekends just getting everything wired up, configured right now. It's got NASA V2. You'll see the Y6 configuration. Now there are still a few things I need to do. You'll notice the canopy cover isn't on there. I just haven't got everything laid out just yet. The nose cone isn't on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and arm. All right, so uh, here we go. Taking it about 50% with the NASA and here, here, let's see what happens. So I'm impressed, I actually expected it to not even get in the air. So that's a good thing that we're able to get up. Now there was a bit of vibration, to be honest, it took a little bit of a shortcut. I didn't get the propellers fully balanced, only did a few of them, I was just anxious. I'll go back and do that. Now this does have the NASA MV2 for hover control in there, but ultimately I'm gonna switch it out with PixHawk. I emailed Adam Sloan at Bird's Eye View and he suggested PixHawk is the way to go for hover and then being able to transition to forward flight using something like APM. But before I leave you, let me just demonstrate how forward flight would work. So on this left hand switch, forward flight mode. now we're in forward flight. If I give it throttle, those four props up front will start to kick into gear. I have access to my flaps. And then I'd ultimately be able to fly it similar to what you would do with a wing. And then of course, just bring it down, back into hover mode, give it our stick sequence. Now it behaves in the Y6 configuration. And let me just leave you with one last tip. I'm new to the Y6 configuration and on NASA your top motors will spin counterclockwise while your bottom ones are spinning clockwise. And originally I had mounted these bottom props flipped upside down, but what you actually want to do is have the label facing up. So both are facing up. Ultimately, I'm glad I didn't fly it that way and just something that I wanted to share. Now I'm going to work on getting that spaghetti all cleaned up and laid out nicely. I still have the QAV500 PixHawk tuning video in the works. This weather just has been kind of relentless. So what I might do is a gain tuning with the Tyrannus in the garage and ultimately when the weather lets up we'll do an auto tune so just wanted to share that please be on the lookout if you have any questions or comments about this setup please post them below and until next time thanks for watching